Good morning, it is Clay Trader from ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to catch some of my trades live on video. Market opens up in less than two minutes, so I will keep you updated. All right, I didn't get this first trade just because I was I was fooling around with it, just doing real small lots because I want to make sure that my commission structure is um, all in set or all set. Now, yesterday I changed it around and there was a few little hiccups with it, uh, so I just wanted to do a, a little bit of trading here. Um, and make sure that it is all set and it is so I'm gonna proceed on trading now so I will try to catch some uh, more trades here but uh, you know to be honest the last thing on my mind was making a video on this first one because I was just concerned about you know uh, is my commission is everything all figured out now and it is indeed so uh, let's uh, find some more trades going for some shares here short at 57 uh, 15 on WMB I have 400 of those. All right, I'll just go with 400 for this first lot. I'd like to try to cover those at 05. You can see here chart very, very overextended. If I need, and the five minute is just as overextended. So if I need to short some more, I certainly will. So just need to kind of see where it looks like it may want to settle down. Try to get some up there at 35. Okay, got those. Now my average is 57.26. Nine or 900 shares. Try some for some up at 75. I uh, didn't get any of those. Let's see if it can get back up there or not. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go up. Try those at 80. Okay, got those at 80. My average is now 45. Try for some at 95 here. Okay, I got those. Average is now 57, 58. See if we can get some sort of pullback here. Nice candle forming over on the five minute. So I'd love to see if that thing can continue to form. And it looks like it wants to push up a little bit more. That is fine. Try for some at 20. Got those. Average is now 57.71. Try for some at 25. My average, like I said, is 71. Looks like if it can break through 90, that'd be ideal. Let's push it back up towards those highs. Okay, got those at 25. Now my average is 57.80. Try some there at 58.29.
Try to get some at 70, 65. Try to pick up some more around 75. Let's see if it can pull back down there some more. Breaks back below 80, I'm feeling pretty good about things. Okay, there we go, got some more filled at 75. And I'm all out for $314. So nice little trade there. And thinking about if I should short right now, but want to show you just the five minute and why I was, I mean, look how overextended this thing out, getting a nice uh, inverse hammer right now. So I need to keep a close, close eye on it. This thing may be really getting ready to fall apart here. So I'll probably be looking to short here again, but um, let's see, not even seven minutes. So I will uh, keep you posted and let you know uh, if I decide to try to uh, play this one some more. I have an order and uh, try to start to build another position uh, with my first entry at 58.15. Uh, we'll see if it can get back up there. But uh, again, like I said, the, the five minute chart's really starting to look a little bit tired here. So we'll see if it can get back up there or not. I will keep you updated. Well, there it gets back up above. Well, I feel like if it's going to get through 58.05, it'll probably go on a bigger run. Why don't I just do 20 as my first potential entry point? So I will uh, keep you updated if it looks like 20 is going to get hit. Okay, getting close to 20, and I'm in at 58.20 at, with my first entry point. We'll look to cover at 10, and I'm out. So uh, that was a quick little $50. Let's try to catch some more. Okay, I'm going for some shares at uh, 58.30. That was a previous level of resistance. So hoping, obviously, that it'll uh, bounce down there. But if it doesn't, then... Uh, you know, that would be a nice little area to start to build a position because that would be my first uh, entry point. And if the, uh, you know, the breakout comes back to retest the breakout point, which, uh, you know, happens a lot, that would put me into the green as I start to average up. So, uh, you know, that is my logic why shorting right there at the resistance, because uh, either way, it'll give me a nice little first entry point to, to build a bigger position or it's just going to simply get rejected. And I should be able to pick up, you know, uh, 10 cents on the scalp. So. Uh, let's see if it can get back up there above 20, and I will keep you updated. Okay, going for some at uh, 45. Let's see if it can get up there or not. I changed that 30 just because, uh, you know, there was a little bit too much consolidating going. Going on at, right at the kind of 30 area, so it was one where it looked like it was going to push through, and indeed it did. Let's see, how high did it go? Ah, 45. It hit 45, but I didn't get any shares. Bummer. Bummer. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Nope, definitely went up and hit 58.45. And there you can see my order was in at 58.45. So that's just how it goes sometimes. All right, well, videos. I'll try to catch one more trade here. Going for some shares here short on uh, Tesla at 230.35. Uh, just 200 shares. Obviously, this is a pretty, uh, pretty expensive stock. I don't like how it's hovering around there. I feel like it's going to blow right through the 30s. Looking over at the other time frames to find another spot. Do that. Like I said, it looks like it was going to no longer like that uh, entry point. And it looks like I was proven pretty much right, at least for the time being. Could have gotten a, a better entry up here in the 40s, but I'm going to try to go for uh, that at 60.
Well, I guess that would have been a nice entry point as it just pulled back there. That's a good thing about these big spreads. And yeah, now that would have been a, a real nice entry. Oh well, um, everything's always beautiful in hindsight. All right, I'm just gonna wrap up this video. We caught some good trades. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to trade like this, meaning with uh, candlestick charting and level twos, you don't have to trade exactly like I do, meaning you don't have to day trade and look to sell within a few minutes. Uh, that's the great thing about charts is they you can sell or you can use them whether you're looking to sell in a few minutes like me or a few days or a few weeks. They work on all time frames. Uh, so they're really uh, a valuable tool, especially to remove emotions from the process. If you go to claytrader.com, I offer multiple training courses on all this stuff. I have a tr uh, private trading group with a live chat room. You can hang out with me and other traders. Uh, there's a weekly newsletter, all, all sorts of good stuff, all very fairly priced. So I'd encourage you to check that out. But at the end of the day, don't take my word for it. Uh, read some of the third party testimonials and get a good third party perspective. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something.